What's going on, Knicks fans? The NBA trade deadline is just a couple days away, and we'll be live on our main Chat Sports channel starting at 1 p.m., youtube.com slash chatsportstv. My guy Chase Sr., who you've seen on the channel before, and Harrison Graham, they will be live breaking down all of the amazing trade stuff that is going to happen on NBA trade deadline day. As an NBA fan, it's one of my favorite days of the calendar, and I know you guys are going to be interested about all the stuff that's happening. They will have you covered on the our main chat sports channel make so make sure you're subscribed they'll be live all day youtube.com slash chat sports tv so hey let's talk about nick's trade rumors right now let's get into it welcome into new york nicks now by chat sports i'm your host marshall green and yes we're talking Knicks trade rumors. The NBA trade deadline is this Thursday. So I think it's only right that we break down the things that are coming out. Some reports about Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, the trade market for Alec Burks. But let's start with Julius Randle, Tom Thibodeau's engine of this team. Is it time to trade Julius? He's had two great games against the Jazz and the Lakers over the weekend. I liked what he, the way he played. The energy he brought was encouraging, but I'm not sure that it's time for the Knicks to hunker down and say, hey, we are tying our franchise to Julius Randle because, hey, Randle just unfollowed the Knicks on Instagram, and that's kind of the new thing that players are doing here in 2022. When you're fed up with your organization and you're tired and you want out, you go unfollow them on Instagram, kind of like you do when you break up with your ex. You unfollow them and you try to move on. And there was a report that came out when I was scrolling on Instagram that Julius Randle has informally requested a trade. Who knows what that even means? Does that mean his agent called and said, hey, Julius wants out? Did Julius talk to someone and say, hey, if you want to trade me, I'm cool with being traded, you know? Who really, really knows what that means? All I know is the tension with Julius Randle and surrounding Knicks fans and the Knicks organization is starting to ramp up. And then a couple days ago, the Randall laptop incident. If you didn't hear about it, we'll break it down. An assistant coach showed him some film during a game on a laptop. Julius looked at it, was not happy with it, swiped the laptop, then got in the face of the Knicks, assi uh, Knicks assistant, Scott King. And this was exactly what happened. NBC Sports had a great write-up, so I'll just read you what they said. They said this. In, New York, in the New York Knicks loss to the Lakers on Saturday, Randall pushed away the computer of Knicks director, video analytics player development assistant, Scott King, on the sideline. Randall and King jawed back and forth, and Randall got in King's face. I mean, guys, it's one thing after another for Randall when it comes to this Knicks team. The, la the laptop thing was just the last thing that recently happened. What about when he gave down a thumb to the Knicks fans saying F off, or when he told Knicks fans that they're too much? So everything that, ha that could go wrong for Randall in the 2022 NBA season has gone wrong, and that even translates to the stat sheet. He was great last year in 2020 and 2021. NBA's most improved player, second team all NBA, averaging 24, 10, and six, shooting above 45% from the field, and an amazing 41.1% from three. This year, all of those numbers have gone down. He's averaging less than 19 points per game, just still around 10, point, 10 rebounds per game. His assist numbers have gone down, and so has his field goal percentage, which has gone down 4%, which has gone up recently because he started to play better, but his three-point percentage is still down all over 10%. And it's not just the shooting numbers that are discouraging for Randall. If you watch, which I know all of you do almost every night, his energy, his defense, and his team leading ability have also gone down. He's not been that same leader that he was last year. And his contract, it is actually not that bad. There's other players like Tobias Harris, who's getting paid 33, 35, 37 million dollars. The Knicks, they did give Randall this contract extension prior to the NBA season. And although the numbers aren't that high for your number one option, Randall really isn't isn't really a number one option, but he's getting paid pretty well. 23 million next year, 25 the year following, 27 the year following at. And then he has a player option for 2025 and 2026 of 29.4 million. And the Knicks, they're going to have to take into account, they're going to have to take back a big contract if they want to trade him. And I'm sure Leon Rose and the rest of the New York Knicks front office are having conversations right now about whether or not they should trade Julius Randle. So I want you to take the seat of Leon Rose. If you were Tom Thibodeau, if you were Rose, if you were World Wide West sitting in those meetings, what would you be saying when Julius Randle's name got brought up days before the NBA trade deadline? Should they trade him? If you think so, type T for trade, or if you're like, nah, 
No way. We got to hold on to Randall. Go down and type K for keep. If the Knicks trade Randall or they trade Alec Burks or Nerlens Noel or Evan Fournier or Kemba Walker, who we'll talk about in a second, maybe Mitch Robinson, we will be breaking it down on this channel. YouTube.com slash Knicks TV. Send that to all your Knicks fans. We're trying to grow and we're one of the fastest growing Knicks channels on YouTube right now. And here at Chat Sports, we have many other NBA and NFL channels and the rules are this. More subs equals more videos. So if you want to get to daily Knicks Now videos, I need your help. So go down right now and hit that big red button. Knicks trade rumors are continuing to pop up, not just around Julius Randle. There are stories and rumors coming out around Mitchell Robinson. And there is a team, the Detroit Pistons, who are strongly interested in Mitch Robinson. And is it time? Should the Knicks look to move on from the young 23-year-old center who's an awesome rim protector, a great rim runner, an alley-oop threat? But there's an important piece that we'll touch on in just a second. Ian Bagley, this is what he had to say about Mitchell Robinson. He said this, Mitchell Robinson has drawn some interest from teams around the league, including the Detroit Pistons. And that's not surprising since former Knicks executive Harold Ellis, who pushed for the Knicks to draft Mitchell Robinson in the second round, is on the Detroit Pistons staff now. Robinson, he has some strong supporters in that Detroit Pistons organization, but he also does with the New York Knicks. But this is the most important part. Robinson is set to be an unrestricted free agent this season summer and he could be looking to get the bag jared allen just signed for a five-year hundred million dollar deal he's not jared allen but clint capello also got the bag so did robert williams of the boston celtics he falls in between for me the the williams deal and the clint capello deal and i like mitchell robinson but are you willing to cash him out what he's done this year is kind of who he is as a player right around nine and nine almost two blocks per game shooting 78 percent from the field and that's really just dunks and alley oops but the thing about about Robinson is this. Before Robinson hits free agency in the offseason, the Knicks can offer him a four-year deal that would start at approximately $12 million and total about $54 million. But Robinson could look at the contracts such as the five-year $100 million deal Jared Allen received from the Cleveland Cavaliers or the two-year $46 million extension Atlanta gave Clint Capella and decide to hit the open market. How much are the Knicks willing to pay Mitchell Robinson? That'll be to be TBD, but would they look to trade him right now? Maybe they don't think that Robinson wants to be with the Knicks long term. He said he has, but hey, things always change around the NBA trade deadline. Maybe he gets wind that the Knicks are looking to trade him and he gets upset. Maybe he wants too much money. Should they trade him so that they can get, so that they can get something back instead of letting him walk an NBA free agency for nothing? If you think the Knicks should look to trade him, take type Y for yes, or if not, type N for no. I want to tell you about our proud sponsor of the, today's show, Fanatics. They are running some great deals in the Valentine's Day. If you haven't got your girl something yet, do it with this link, chatsports.com slash Day. Maybe you want to get her some socks, or maybe you want to wake up and next to her, she's wearing this deep V-neck with these awesome blue orange shorts. I know there's nothing sexier than a Knicks fit girl who's a Knicks fan. So if you haven't bought anything yet, it's just around the corner. It's not too late. Go to chatsports.com slash V-Day, I promise you, they have a whole bunch of stuff on sale, and you'll be able to find something for her or maybe yourself. Hey, sometimes you just got to treat yourself. I know I will on Valentine's Day, and I'll probably be buying myself something. And you got to get the deals that we're offering when you go to chatsports.com slash Nick's V-Day. I promise you, you'll find something you want, Don't and you won't regret it. As we continue to talk about these Knicks trade rumors, there's reports coming out from Brian Windhorst that the Knicks are looking for certain things like expiring contracts or players that they can deal to get their younger players more minutes. This is exactly what Wendy had to say about the trade rumors. The New York Knicks remain interested in moving one or two of their veteran players as they look to create playing time for younger options. The Knicks have shown interest in trading for players with expiring contracts and an apparent effort to clear salary cap space this summer. And if they're looking to be players in NBA free agency coming this offseason, they're going to have to clear cap space because the contract they gave Evan Fournier and the contract of two years for $17 million that they gave Kemba Walker and Nerlens Noel, that is bogging down their salary cap space. 
And they may need to shed some salary if they want to be players in NBA free agency this summer. For guys who they could look to trade, what about Mitchell Robinson? He's on a cheap deal. Maybe they can get a couple first-round picks back. He's only on a one-year, $1.8 million deal. The Knicks are trying to trade Kimba Walker. The thing is, no one's biting. He has two years and $17.8 million left on his, his deal. Evan Fournier, they just signed him this summer. He has three years with $57 million guaranteed. He has a fourth year for a player uh, team option, but the Knicks probably wouldn't pick that up. Alec Burks, two years, $19.5 million. He also has a third year that's a player option, and same with Nerlens Noel, two years, $18 million. If someone gets traded, I would expect it to be one of these five guys for the New York Knicks, but let me know. You be the GM. You got to clear up minutes. So guys like Cam Reddish, who Tom Thibodeau came out and said he did not want to trade for. But the Leon Rose and the Knicks front office, they clearly are big fans of Cam Reddish. And they need to clear up minutes so the younger guys can play, like Quentin Grimes and guys like that. What veteran do you think the Knicks should trade prior to the NBA trade deadline? Get in the comments and let me know. The first place you can hear about the Knicks making a trade before the deadline is on my Twitter. Where I'll tweet it out, then I'll get right in the lab to start making a video for you guys. So hit me up at MarshallGreen underscore. I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers, and I only want Knicks fans to give me a follow. So send me a DM, let me know you came from this video, and I'll give you a follow back.